Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Sebastian Maniscola. Nope, that's not how you say that. Maniscalco. <laughs> anyway, Sebastian M. First date deal breakers. Let's see what he has to say. Feel free to break it down for me phonetically in the comments while you're here, okay? <laughs> First date's the big date, right? A lot of deal breakers going on on that first date. I, wa I watch how a woman eats. This is a huge deal breaker for me. That's a okay? big one. That's a big Took one. Took a girl out for Italian food. She ate everything on the plate. I got no problem with that. But then she took a piece of bread and did a sponge job. My father does that during the holidays. Can we all agree that he looks like a browner version of Ben Stiller? Can we agree here? Let me know in the comments if you see that. I see it. I mean, goodness gracious, they could be cousins. Like, it's crazy. Um, I also agree with this. I think eating is a huge thing to look out for when you're dating someone. Huge thing. And like... I don't think it's so bad she sopped up the sauce with the bread. Like, the girl knows how to eat. She enjoys a good meal. What's the problem? I don't know. My father does that during the holidays. You might want to wait till we fall in love until you start mopping up sauce. Sauce. <laughs> Another big deal breaker for me, when I go to the girl's house for the first time, ladies, be prepared for the come over, okay? Okay. Have some options for me. Options like you what? Come to my place, I'm ready. It's like a hotel. <laughs> Soon as we walk in, I turn around, you want a little Diet Coke, apple juice, wine? Apple juice. <laughs> Making an assumption here that this man is Italian just based off of his accent and the way he's saying things. Like He also took a girl to an Italian restaurant for the first time. It's giving Italian, Italiano. You want a little this diet? spin milk? around? Apple juice. Apple Wine. juice. What do you want? <laughs> I got Orangina. Nobody's got Orangina. Orangina? <laughs> Throw that at a chick. You want a glass of orangina? You have orangina? Yeah, I got it. The whispering? Sit down. I cannot. The whispering. This girl had nothing. We walked in, she turned around, she's like, do you want some water or something like that? Water? Water's good for you. I'll get that out of the hose. I cannot. One night, went to this girl's house. She, uh, she had a little scotch. I said, you know, put that on the rocks. Eh? She brought it out. I went to take a sip. I smelled the ice cubes. The Ooh. ice cubes smelled like the freeze. You, you listen to me this is huge and i honestly don't think i've ever heard anyone else talk about ice cubes in the way i am like so serious about ice obviously pellet ice is my favorite chick-fil-a sells bags of their ice for a dollar fifty if you didn't know now you do and you're welcome you owe me some commission <laughs> i'll send you an invoice zaxby's ice is top tier elite right that's the elite i just had let me tell you how much of it i just had some here in this cup and it's gone because i ate it um but that freezer ice you have to be super careful with freezer ice depending on where you are and what the tap water tastes like the freezer ice will destroy your drink it's so gross i've never heard anybody else talk about this but yes especially inside water you can mask it in other things like juice and soda but if you put it in water with good filtered water and you put ice cubes in there it was nice to meet you 
please lose my number. I'm on board with this one, and I haven't even heard the whole thing. I'm on board with it. I smelled the ice cubes. The ice cubes smelled like the freezer. I'm like, what is this, Johnny Walker and mixed vegetables? <laughs> Change out your <laughs> cubes! <laughs> Every three days, I'm breaking ice at my house fresh. <laughs> Oh, you've not even got the machine. You really are a New Yorker. He's got the, the tray. But in the beginning, everything's fantastic. When you first start dating, first couple months, everything's adorable, right? You flirt with each other. She might be making a salad in the kitchen. She might have a little broccoli hanging off her head. A it's the broccoli. cutest thing you've ever seen. Right? You walk in, you're like, Baby, you got a piece of broccoli <laughs> hanging off your head. She flirts right back. She's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Out of all things, for broccoli to be hanging off your head is wild. Like, it's not like she had a some flower in her hair, like a piece of broccoli hanging from her hair. What's she making? Why is she so aggressive in the kitchen? <laughs> you get married, you have a couple kids. That shit ain't funny anymore. <laughs> Little things start pissing you off about the person. Just everyday movement could set you off. For right? real. Just that is so true. Somebody brush their teeth in the morning, right? They're sitting there looking in the mirror like, oh, look at this crap. <laughs> this is so true. This is so true. I hate you. <laughs> Woo! But you might find someone you love, want to settle down start a family, have some kids. But when it comes to raising kids, you know what culture's got it down to a science? The Japanese people. Right? Got any Japanese? I, the, his delivery for me is hilarious. The Japanese people. <laughs> like he's, everything's so slow and like broken down into extra syllables for no reason. <laughs> uh, he, why are we whispering so much? Like what's going on? No science, the Japanese people. The Japanese right. people. You got any Japanese here tonight? <sighs> right. And I like the Japanese because it was a, one per faint clap. I like them because Japanese people are quiet. <laughs> they don't say nothing. You ever see a Japanese family at a restaurant? Their kids are trained. They sit like a soldier in a 90 degree angle. They don't move. You ever see the white kid at the restaurant? <laughs> Just in half a diaper? <laughs> half a diaper? Mother just sitting there. Oh, isn't he cute? Look. No, you know what's cute? The two year old Japanese kid in a suit eating with sticks. In a suit, in a suit. You know, I'm so blessed to have a child. I have never, my daughter has never been one to like act out in public. She'll come home and act a fool, but I would much rather act a fool in the house <laughs> than out in public because I feel like I just would have so much anxiety. Like, you know, and you, people underestimate just how much you can control your children in settings like that. Um, it's hard. Like kids really do have minds of their own. And unless you're going to do something to physically then put yourself in harm's way of judgment, like, like, you know, spank them or like get forceful, which in, in this day and age, you do that in public, it's over for you. It's like, what, what really can you do? But it really, I'm so grateful because if I had a daughter who was just like, you know, a little rambunctious. I don't know what I would do. And I also didn't leave the house a lot when she was super young because I was just like, like if I had to go somewhere, she would have to stay behind. Cause I'm like, and I just didn't want to even have the opportunity to allow her to have a tantrum. But again, she wasn't ever like that, but I get this. It's like, I just came out here to enjoy a dinner. I did not want to see your wild thornberry child <laughs> smashing peas on the wall next to me. <laughs> 
My name is Sebastian. You guys have been a Oh, it's over. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't have stopped it right there if I knew it was over and had that rant. He's funny. His delivery is funny. The whispering, his accent, the way he speaks about things, everything he said was hilarious and kind of spot on for me. The first date thing was funny. The marriage thing was funny. The kid thing was funny. He's really good. And he looks like Ben Stiller. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Anyway, go have the day you deserve. Peace.